Right, I uh, <clears throat> I'm uh, making a video because uh, I, me and my buddy uh, that I'm playing with here on Rust on the uh, the legacy version now is what they call it, uh, and that actually just changed yesterday. It is it was October first yesterday. Today's the second. Um, so what we've been noticing is in our server it says uh, active admin, which I've never seen them since joining the server. There is no active admin. It says no wipe, but that's bullshit. Um, because certain buildings that we've come across or stuff that's not really inhabited or been active for a while has been, been getting wiped. And uh, it says the server will not disappear, but again, that's that's happened too. But besides the point, I'm making this video um, because I wanted to get a, uh, a, a video showcase, so to speak, on uh, my base before it just decides to disappear. And if that happens... Um, I would be pretty upset. I spent a long time, uh, you know, a good two or three weeks uh, building this up from from a ruckety old little piece of shit to what it is now. Um, so again, I am just uh, just wanting to get a real quick uh, um, video evidence of what I built. So there's nobody in the server, so I don't think I'll have anybody to worry about. <coughs> Uh, I guess I should start with uh, where I'm starting here. All right, this is my safe room. I guess you would call it. I have uh, most, if not all, of my guns, uh, explosive, building material. All this stuff is all usually in this room. Um, and what I couldn't really fit or find a spot for. These are both health. Nothing really special in there. But I couldn't really find anything to fit in there for. Like, say, oh, I maxed out all these boxes. I started building out here, which is just outside this room. As you can see, I got metal doors securing almost every uh, location here. Yeah, there's nothing whole bunch down there. Yeah, I got a crap ton of crafting supplies. Anything that I need um, for crafting or building, uh, I got a workbench right here, which is nice. And then I got my repair table right here, which is pretty nice. And if we just scoop on in here... I got a fire pit, and then I got my furnace for smelting, um, which is also pretty pretty convenient to have right next door. Uh, it didn't always used to be like that. Um, in fact, uh, I used to have to run down these stairs, which I'll show you now. And nothing too special. Uh, I I used to have to run down these stairs for uh, for crafting, and as you can see, I've got metal doors pretty much separating everything. There's nothing in any of these boxes down here. <laughs> All right, this is where I'd have to go for crafting. Um, uh, this is my front door, so right when you come in, I'll show you from the outside. Where when you come in, you'd have to blow up this door, then you'd have to blow up this door, and I made it pretty difficult for anyone to try and raid my base. Um, watching some of Frankie and 1080p's uh, videos, they they base raid a lot, so I kind of try to build to prevent that. And if you didn't know th what the interior was like, it would be really hard for anyone to just kind of uh, easily loot or find my shit, because I kind of just scattered everything out. I'll show you. But anyway, before I uh, before I go this route, which is my uh, staircase that goes up the side of the building, I want to just show an outside look of my hard work. As you can see, I'm probably about eight or eight or nine stories. I can't really tell exactly how long it is. But that top roof is left open where I put a torch. It's kind of like a, a beacon, so to speak. Um, if it was nighttime, I'd I'd go up there and light it. But uh, so yeah, this is this is my base from pretty much all corners. Just want to get a good look at it from the ground up. That tree is a uh, pretty nice. Uh, coverage, but now that I've built up so tall past it, it's it like it used to be like. Uh, let's see, oh, you can't see the laser. Let's see, and you see, there's the laser. All right, it, the tree or my building line used to meet up like right around of uh, right right here, I think, or maybe it was right there. So it was pretty nice in coverage with the foliage. Um, and uh, I'm right next to a pretty proper loot run. Like, I've got uh, probably about six or eight or nine chests that I can loot within a small circular vicinity. Um, 
So that was nice. Uh, that's like that's exactly why I built in this location. I may have built a little too close to the tree, but it doesn't matter because uh, I actually I I like it this way. Um. Oh, uh, building in this game. Uh, if you misplace a pillar, guess what? You're shit out of luck. So I was actually trying to expand my base up from this part, but uh, accidentally misplaced a pillar, and as you can see, it hasn't left. Um, <coughs> but yeah, that's uh, so far that's my base. But let's take a. Uh, I just showed you what it was before, um, which was only these two rooms. Well, not this. These two rooms. My crafting room, which was just that bottom floor area, and then upstairs, which led me to my safe house. Now if we go through here, I've actually built uh I've actually built a stairwell going up. Now, if you probably can't see right now, but it looks like just normal wood wall right there, right? Instead of building a metal door, I thought it would be pretty clever to have a wood door, because they blend in so well. So that's actually a hidden stairwell that most people would just run by because they wouldn't see it unless they happen to glance at that indicator right there but most people when they come in if they did manage to break in they would just be like oh stairs and then not even think twice to stop um, this actually i was planning on being a trap in case somebody had the galls to you know try and try and think that they could sneak in through here because i left that open window like if they built cr crates or pallets to be able to jump up there or jump up here uh, I'd surprise them with the metal door and if I heard them I mean this leads to one of my stairwells in the crafting room that I'd just be able to pop a cap in his ass from a stairwell so that that was just one of the <coughs> reasons for that design um, as you go further up this stairwell uh, there really isn't much uh, as terms of boxes or anything any type of loot I haven't really went all out with that I've left some windows open just because I figured they were high enough to where it would be really hard for somebody to try and place foundation. I think I've actually maxed out the foundation around my base. Like I couldn't build out any further over here or over here because, uh, well, it just won't let me. I guess it's like the 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 terrain is just not not uh, lined up evenly, and that's one of the biggest problems with the alpha or what they call legacy. I guess is that. Um, the building, if you're not building on an even, like, an even level of ground, like, your, your shit's gonna get all, like, look retarded or fucked up or sink halfway in the ground, so, I don't know, but I'm, I'm just glad I kind of built the way I did, because it won't allow any more further building. I just left this open as a gap, I didn't, I was kind of planning to turn it into, like, a prisoner room, but it's too much of a pain in the ass to get up here. Uh, this was a sniping room, as you can see the hidden stairwell. If you actually managed to get in here, then you'd be like, oh shit, there's a stairwell over there, but, uh, yeah, this, this looks over my buddy Mike's base. We kind of had a sniper battle here with this, uh, bolt action. This is actually the furthest shooting rifle. However, the bow and arrow just blows this out of the water. I mean, this thing can't shoot anywhere as far as the bow and arrow, but the bow and arrow is pretty hard to fucking, uh, pretty hard to shoot if you don't like know what your ranges are in the arcs and it's it's got some science to it i wouldn't say it's good science but i wouldn't it's not terrible <coughs> all right um i didn't finish I, I was gonna build a metal door here like much of the others but i figured you know i already got one up here and i think i got another one up here yeah and this was supposed to be the top of my building, like at here, that's why I left all these windows open, it gave me a good vantage point from the ground, uh, I could pretty much see anyone kind of running around in certain areas, and I could be like popping them off or talk to them from up here. I, I play as a friendly player, I, I kind of think that people that shoot uh, nakeds on sight are kind of uh, the cancer to the community of Rust, I mean, it, it ruins a lot of first timers experience and they don't want to come back to that, you know, it's kind of like DC, same kind of same kind of scenario. You don't you don't want a bunch of bandits or whatever. Uh, I'm generally friendly uh, unless they think that they have uh, the balls to try and hit me or pull out a pistol and try and shoot me. I usually give most players the benefit of the doubt. Um, I'll let them know, like, hey, you know, uh, I don't mind you building around here. Don't build too close to me, and that's usually the only warning I give. If they ask me for stuff, generally I will help them out. Uh, obviously not with not all this shit like i won't give them like all my metal fragments or wood i'll, I'll give them like a pickaxe to start and I'll, I'll pretty much gear them up with like 
you know, what they need to just start out. And usually that would go with, like, leather. Like, this used to be my noob helper chest right here, yeah, see? Most of it's been handed out. I used to have full leather armor sets, full rad gear sets for the kids. And I don't really like giving players a, uh, a pistol because... Uh, Norm like over half the time that I've done that I'd run like halfway back to my base and then I'd hear shots being fired out from behind me so it's like really dude I just helped you out that much and you're gonna turn and fire on me just because you saw I had a bolt action or a M4 or whatever the hell I was wearing at the time it's like players just need to learn to be grateful and if they're not then they're open game that's what I look at them as um, this door's weird this door is oddly placed and it's the first time I noticed it but anyway, uh, so yeah, I, I didn't even go to the uh, secret stairwell, did I? Holy shit, I was kind of talking and got caught up in that. Um, one last p tour of my base, and that is the uh, the secret stairwell. I'm not really concerned about that wolf. As you can see, the tree kind of like pours into it a little bit, but it's pretty cool. I like it like that. Uh, it's pretty much just a straight climb up. No doors, no gimmicks. Uh, there is that one slot in the sniper window. Uh, I don't think you can get in it. Yeah, that's the sniper window. It's, it's too short for me to crawl in, but I actually purposely left an opening up here at the top of the stairs. Uh, right here. Um, I could have easily just walled off this and walled off this. That's looking out towards my, my buddy's base over there. But uh, it turns out I can actually go in through that window place right here, like I said. Uh, the windows with the six windows and then just kind of climb out the same way which is nice because it gives you a little variety um, and this is the door to the torch house like this would literally be the top of my base but I built up uh, oops that was, that was fail I made it so you had to jump into it and uh, let's, it's getting dark but let's go ahead and uh, light yep see and uh, that that right here is my beacon for nighttime you know I kind of let other other players know most of them that are not dicks or not like real noobs will call out um, from right right there or right at my front door and uh, ask if anyone's home and if they can get some supplies or whatever and you know 90% of the time I've got something for them there's very few times where I'm like uh, sorry but I've either handed out all my loot or I don't have what you're asking for and uh, generally people are pretty cool about it they, they don't get all butt hurt and shit because you know what? Truth be told, I fucking did all of this by myself. I did all of this by myself. I didn't have my buddy over there help me. And uh, he, he, my buddy Mike over there, he, he, uh, he built all that by himself too. I didn't go over there and help him. Uh, I did give him some supplies to start with, much like I do with the noobs. Uh, with, well, the new players that I don't know in real life uh, or at all. But I kind of gave him a little bit better stuff. Like I gave him a uh, uh, shotguns and a MP5 and a P250 and some attachments. So, because I knew that you know my buddy isn't going to shoot me, and if he does, you know he's going to pay for it later. But he never did. He never betrayed my trust. Uh, and which is why it's okay to give to your friends, um, people that you don't know. You got to be a little skeptical about what you hand them, especially a shotgun. Uh, a shotgun with close range is more than likely a one-hit kill. So the chances of you giving some, you know, a seemingly friendly player a shotgun, and uh, you turn your back and you start running back towards your base, uh, he could shoot you, you know. Or if you don't keep a gun drawn on him while you're, uh, or you tell him not to take that out until you leave, and you keep a gun drawn on him until you're safe distance to run. Um, that's usually what I do, but there's been a couple times where I've been shot with P250s and MP5s, and the funny thing is, I never even gave the kid the MP, uh, the MP5. I would give you a buddy uh, tour of my buddy's like prison type base, but a, it's not even complete, and b, uh, you know, I don't have any of the access codes. Just like he doesn't have the access codes to my base, so I think we're gonna stop the video there. I just really wanted. Uh, a good visual evidence before this all gets deleted because it's I, I assume it's only a matter of time before this base is uh, either gonna slowly disappear piece by piece or whatever and that's kinda the last thing I wanted to talk about was um, server disappearing things uh, server disappearing buildings items stuff like that not really uh, like landmarks that were in the game like that will never disappear but built stuff you know like, uh, for example, right over there, I had a new player that I was helping out build around that house. He thought he could build a house and not loot things, so he started building uh, 
<clears throat> wood doorways on a platform like right right there and uh you know they're gone now i mean they've been gone since last week but i'm wondering if things disappear due to inactivity or if they disappear uh based off of some other reason so it's kind of it's kind of weird and my buddy mike when he first started he didn't first start right over there he actually started at the hangar and it was right behind the hangar and uh i'll just cut this part of the video out if um if it gets to be too long but got, i just want to see how much of his old base is left over because uh it actually used to be a two-story not very long not very wide uh but it was a two-story like proper little shanty house and uh I don't think there's anything left of it anymore. You'd normally see it from here. Yep, there, there it is. And as you can see, it was, it was a decent size. Uh, but now there's nothing in it. You know, like all the doors, are. Uh, what, what few doors are here? Are, who put a sleeping bag here? I don't think that's my buddy's sleeping bag, but I don't really care. Nothing here. So bizarre. But yeah, this actually used to be completely walled off, like, and finished, and all the works, you know? And so, I kind of found it weird how, when he switched over uh, to his other base, which is over there, why all this started disappearing. Um, at first, we speculated that it's the admin, but, you know, why the hell would he go around wasting his time just deleting buildings, you know what I mean? Like, how are you supposed to build a proper town or, or like, a civilization in Rust? if uh, someone's just going to go around and delete shit. So we, we kind of ruled that out because, first of all, we never saw the admin. And second of all, you know, he literally moved this stuff uh, three days ago um, to over to his new base, like all whatever supplies he had left in those crates in that room I just showed you. He moved, this was his, like, little stash room. So he moved all this crate, all the shit, and all the shit that was upstairs in one of those stash rooms all to his new base. And literally two days later, uh, a whole bunch of stuff is missing. Like, I guarantee you, uh, I'm pretty sure that this was actually more built than this for the last time I checked, I, but it's hard to say now, because obviously, you know, it still looks like it's missing a bunch of shit, but I'm worried that uh, one day that that's going to start happening to my base, whether due to inactivity or I don't really, I don't really know why things are disappearing, but... Um, that's why I kind of started this video in the first place, so I could just look back and be like, yeah, I did build a pretty decent base, you know, like, goes high up, it's within a decent loot run. Mike's, Mike's base is a bit wider than mine, but it's more, I don't know. I thought mine was mazy, but I guess his is more of a maze than mine. Mine's just tall and, for me, simple to navigate, but it would be confusing for other people that didn't know. And uh, I think I'm going to leave the video there. Um, yeah. That, that's our, uh, that's my rust base. And uh, I might start another one. Just give a quick video detour of uh, my buddy Mike's base over there. Because it is rather intricate. Even though it's... Uh, it, re it reminds me of a prison. But I think that'll do it, folks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it off here. So, hope you enjoyed.